Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the channel. I'm Atomic. We're playing uh, Car Mechanic 2021. I have in front of me, this is a Hudson Hornet. And it's a drag series. Paid 12000 It's only worth eleven. <clears throat> so I've lost about $1,000 in it. No big deal. Let's get to it. Let's build it. We're going to build it and drag, race it, and see what she'll do. I'm very interested and how it performs at the drag strip. Whoops. Look at the brake rotor sticking out. <laughs> uh, it's got part of a motor. It's got a battery in it. All right, while it's sitting here, we'll go ahead and take some stuff off, see if we can fix any of it. Well, I mean, we'll see if we can fix any of it later. Rear, look at that rear window. It's got some kind of a roll cage with it. Okay, it's got two tail light. Oh, it's got one tail light. No bumper. No back window. No side window. It's got a door though. Nothing on the inside. It's clean. Let's see how big these tires are. Look at that. There's plenty of room to put a bigger tire on here. Unless it's going to hit. Okay, I see it where it's. Uh, looks like it might hit the inside of that. So that's, that might be as big as they could get. I'm not going to put any uh, high performance um, stuff like uh, this, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to put any high performance of the suspension stuff on it. Look at that, no rusty bolts. That is amazing. Gotta take the end off first. One bearing. Okay. I hope it uh, performs well at the racetrack. That'd be cool. Uh oh. All three bolts is rusty. Gosh, that one's rusty. Look at that. Go right through the engine block. <laughs> That's going right through the engine block, too, I think. Well, you know that one is. Look, the... How can... What the heck, man? So the transmission is going through the uh, subframe. Wow. I guess I had to do that to get it in here. And that, yep, that's going through the engine block. <laughs> That's all right. That kind of stuff don't bother me. I think it's funny, but it don't bother me. I do the same thing to make this stuff work. You ain't got no choice. Probably don't have a choice. I, I don't know if they did or not. Anyway, it don't matter. We're going to build it. Three bolts holds that whole transmission on. That's all it needs. Don't know if I'll stick with the same wheels or not, or tires for that matter. I may not. I don't know.
I probably won't do as much painting as I normally do. That's fixable. Okay. Let's lower it down. We'll go get the crane. People call this thing a one arm bandit. I don't know why, but that's what they call it. All right, let's go ahead and get the other stuff out, like the battery, the fuses. That looks to be it. I don't see anything else anywhere else. Now, I've said this before, and I've even failed to do it myself, but if you'll come right here, and look right here. Okay, see? It has the poundage. There's something on the car. And I don't know. Oh, there it is. Left fender B is still on the car. All right, left fender B. Look at that. That little piece right there. So this, this is, I need to get used to doing this myself. But once you get all that done, oh, you can make different versions. I'm not switching that. I'm not doing it. But now it's a bare frame. So you can make any car bare frame, which is really cool. I love that. I will be doing a bare frame challenge uh, soon. I got a couple more challenges I want to get out of the way. The barn, I, got, I'm, I just started the... Uh, I just started the um, uh, a drag strip challenge. Wow, that's a that I mean that is typical for that uh, year kind of car the paint on it that's really cool. I wanted to see uh, current color factory color. It says that's the factory colors, but the, over here, well, that's color variants. Yeah, just dull. Might just make it black. I don't know. Let's go see what we can fix. Never know with me what I'm gonna do. Tell light, that's a tell light D. So this is uh, one of those where you can have hunting thousand different parts for. <laughs> all right, not a whole lot to fix. We're going to go ahead and get the, oh, all four rotors can be fixed. That's good. Seven pages worth of stuff. Did you see that thing stop? Man, it can't be doing that. I'm going to save it before it locks up with me and I lose my progress. I'm thinking about streaming car mechanic. I know people do that. And I thought about doing like a bare frame uh, stream. That would be cool. That would really be cool. I think. So far, all these parts have been easy to fix. That's nice. I like that. So you guys know, guys and gals, what I'm trying to do is hit this one. When I let it come to the end, I'm trying to hit that one. So if you see it hit this one, then you know I missed it. See, I missed that one. Uh-oh. Hmm. I hit that one. So that gives y'all a little bit of a insight on... If I if I'm hit my mark, see I missed it there. Missed it again. Hit it that time.
I went off script with the um, body and the inside is just one seat and one um, uh, well all of, them, all of them's got one steering wheel but one seat and one steering wheel so there's nothing else in the car and as far as body goes I switched up a bunch of stuff I'm hoping it looks good we'll see so the original one is this one Oh, never mind. I, I either I, I may have bought. See, I don't see. Okay, that's the carbon fiber trim, but this back here. Oh, car part two. Okay, I didn't see that. Let me make sure I didn't get that. Yeah, car part two. So I'm gonna need um the carbon trim left, trim right. Okay, to make it. To make it work right okay that looks pretty cool all right rear fender front with the carbon so that all matches hood with a carbon ornament the other one was just clean that might look all right uh, headlights I went with the LEDs did I put that fender on? Yeah. Don't have that one. So that's a left front fender. Left front fender with carbon trim. The front end. Uh, I went with tinted lights. And that's the one that came out of it. And then a front bumper, uh, clean with carbon lip. So the other one was just carbon lip. Okay, so yeah, this is the one I need right here. Okay. And then let's put a door in. It just had the plain door. We got the carbon door. And I got tinted, uh, tinted glass. Give it that wow factor. <laughs> so that's tinted with roll cage. It just had the plane. Okay, and the trunk, carbon wing, which I guess looks all right. All right, let's put this on, car part three. And then that. Uh, did I put the right one on? No wheel cover, yeah. All right, uh, with these, it already had the tinnids. I just put the tinnids right back in there. And the rear bumper clean. I think that's the only choice I had. Let me make sure. Rear bumper. There's a B painted, clean, clean painted. That was it, so yeah. Okay, I can get this without that on there, but we'll just see what that looks like. Okay, I got tinted that and tinted that. And once I paint it, that carbon fiber, all that carbon fiber should just stick out like a sore thumb. I thought about painting this thing black. I went back and changed out some stuff. Um, I didn't like the carbon fiber look it was giving me on the side here so i took all that back out and i replaced it with chrome i do not like this i don't know what that is i mean is, did the hudson hornets have that on there i want that chrome right there but i just didn't want that and i could go with the carbon fiber which is black it it kind of hides itself better than that that kind of just sticks out like a sore thumb let me uh let me try that carbon fiber the carbon fiber one yeah carbon ornament let's try that again and uh, let's go back into here 
that will probably look better than that little piece right there being carbon fiber. I like um, that red right there. I think that looks... I don't want it on there, but if it has to be on there, um, I guess the carbon fiber... But the only reason I want it on there is because you got this on the back. Now I could, uh, I could get a clean trunk that doesn't have anything on it, and then a clean front that doesn't have anything on it. I could do that. So let's try that. I think I already have a, a one that's clean. Yeah, clean. So I could do that, and let's uh, go back here and change out the back one, make it the same way. I, that wing didn't work out for me either. Okay, trunk. And I want the clean trunk. Carbon wing, plastic, M1, plastic, plastic, clean. Okay, so I could go with that. I kind of liked the emblems on the back. I really like the little chrome emblem there, but I did. I don't like that triangle-looking thing on it. I mean, there's a badge that says Hudson Hornet right there. All right, let's uh, go back into here. I don't see any really, really much difference between those and and these. Except for that red, I think is more red. Yeah. So that gets rid of that little triangle on the front, but it also gets rid of the chrome piece. But that's fine. For a drag car such as this, I thought about either going with darker colors like you see, or going with a lighter color like this. But I haven't painted anything that a dark rich color now as far as liveries I can go with the livery you got this one which is the fabulous Hudson Hornet which I want to paint another one with this but just a regular one not the drag car that I got now so and then this one uh, if you look real close you can see all those little X's let me uh, change see it's it's all over the car what well, ain't on the hood though that's kind of weird Huh. Wonder why. But anyway, I don't know. That might look alright on a certain type of paint job, but not, not this one. Like this right here, you can't hardly see it, so it would probably be alright for that. Okay, and then the other ones was two-tone stuff, which I really like this concept. But I don't think the red works with, with that. Now, I went through all of them. There's a bunch of different ones, and I didn't think any of them worked with that but now if you was to go and maybe choose this yellow that looks that looks awesome and you can even go with the a pastel color that would look awesome and that blue right there would look awesome the darker blue that still looks good and that looks good so you can go with any of these but the red i i don't particularly like it So, we got a drag car. So, we're not going to put any liveries on it. If, if there was a livery that had um, some kind of drag something to do, like, you know, stripes down the side or somewhere, or even flames, you know, something to indicate drag strip, I would go with that. But, anyway. So, let's just paint it this. And everyone's welcome to comment and say, hey, it, look, it would look better, a different color. It does not bother me at all. All right, let's get this thing. Well, it starts, let's get it up there, but let's go ahead and just start putting some stuff in. I didn't paint anything this time around. Uh, 
I'm more interested in what it's going to do at the track. And so that's where I left that. I didn't want to... Plus it being a drag car. Now if it was like a show car or, you know, some other kind of car, I might, I might have went in there and I didn't get that yet. Uh, I might have went in there and did some painting, but I didn't, I didn't just didn't do it this time. I didn't do it. Hope that doesn't make anybody mad. <laughs> you probably like, yeah, we're tired of the, of you painting everything, <laughs> a bunch of different colors. Uh, so right right now I want to just buy a motor to stick in here I don't want to sit here and build this and it won't let me buy a motor I don't know what I don't know what's causing that but it sure is where it won't okay so we got all of that in let's close that hood that's gonna look pretty sharp I left the same wheels I didn't change that up either and I was going to paint those, uh, these, <laughs> these, but I didn't do that either. I mean, this stuff looks pretty decent anyway, like it is. And those springs, I like the, that color that they are already. I just didn't really feel the need to do a lot of painting on this one. That mod, that TK mod, I believe is what uh, paints all this stuff. Now, I did uh, get these rotors here. I wanted to put those rotors on there. You can't see it, though. Yeah, I didn't realize that until just now. <laughs> you can't see it in there. What do I care? Why can't I put that on there? Oh. All right, so... What was on here was a 180 tire. And I don't know how they got that. I can't get a 180. So I got this from 170. And on a drag cars, they don't have slicks on the front. Anyway, I didn't put slicks on the back anyway. Because you know I like to get that lower uh, car rating. We'll see how, how it runs. And since the game feels like you ought to be in a higher rating. Because you got slicks on. I can't, uh, I'm running out of bushings. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. The back just should just take uh, the small ones. You know what? I didn't get no U-joints. And I know this thing takes U-joints. Okay, 15, 16. Yeah, I don't even know why I put them. It's like a, a waste for rotors. And I didn't get no U-bolts. Let's go ahead and do the gas tank first. Go ahead and do all this. Now that's not, I mean, I'm going to leave it, but that's, I would have painted that had I known it wasn't going to be black. I thought it was going to be black. But anyway, like I say, we're going to, I'm, I'm interested more in the drag strip part of this experimental build. Whoa, Nelly. This car has been updated. It's got disc brakes on the back. Oh, those do work on the back, but I'm not going to use them because you can't see them. 
And plus, being a drag car, really, the may not even have no brakes on the back end. I don't know. I got chrome wheel, though. I was thinking about changing wheels, but um, I was like, no, it's a it's a drag car, and usually drag cars has them side type wheels. That's why everybody goes with them. We'll go ahead and stick this stuff on. I've got it. Might as well get it on there. Those I had in stock. Was that a uh, hundred percent? Yeah, a hundred and hundred. Okay. That's what that looks like. Let's get it down. Look at it. I guess it looks all right. I think the tinted windows looks pretty good. That paint job looks good. I like the paint job. I could have tweaked it and made it more redder. Let's take it outside and look at it. See if it looks any different out here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And that chrome stands out a lot better than that uh, carbon fiber did. I really wished I could have kept the emblems. I didn't like this emblem on the here, but I like that other one. And of course, I like the front emblem. I just didn't like that triangle looking thing. Okay. Let's get it back in. I guess I'm going to have to build a motor. Let me go get it tore down, get it ready for you guys. All right, let's get this motor together. I may have it all done. We'll see. I did do a little painting on this. Nothing dramatic. Nothing to get excited over. Nothing to get excited over, but I did do a little painting. Block is black as usual. I usually do the blocks black unless I'm doing something different. Did that black? Uh, didn't paint that at all. Looked at yellow. Let's put this uh, back in stuff on. All right, let's flip her over. Whoops. Okay, I didn't do anything with these. That's the time you can't. I did paint that. Now, this is the color of the car. I did paint that that. And this is chrome. Uh, this is the color of the car. That's, that's nice. This is green. Color of the car. Thought about making that chrome. But I got a lot of pieces on here. It's chrome already. So I painted it the color of the car. I mean, all that kind of meshes together, but looks all right. Heads are black. This is chrome. I did not paint that. These are chrome. Little hot rod motor. You 
You know, I did not get uh, spark plugs. Let me get those right super quick. I don't know why I didn't get spark plugs when I was thinking about it. Well, actually, I wasn't thinking about it. And I didn't get spark plug wires. Uh, this thing's got... I th okay. Let's see. Let's clear search. This thing's got um, the CGM. So if I put CGM, it should... There. I think I need four. Two per... I think. Find out here in a minute. Let's go ahead and put those in. Again, I don't like to do anything high performance off the bat just simply because I want to see how it's going to do stock. Painted that chrome. That looks pretty good. I painted that chrome. Uh, chrome against chrome against chrome. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, I only got four of those. I need eight. Okay. Let's first go get the other ones that we need. C, G. Let's get four more. I haven't had those in stock. I don't know. Alright, uh, I think I want to paint these different. I know it says black, but I did chrome and then that's black, but I don't want to do that no more. Let's do it that. And then let's uh, mix it a different way. Yeah. Actually, before we do that, let's see what it looks like this way. There we go. Well, the only thing that looks chromish is inside of there, but that'll work. Uh, I just didn't want it chrome on top of chrome, on top of chrome, on top of chrome. I just not, I don't, I don't like this. Too much chrome. Now this engine is supposed to take um, a CDI box, but I didn't see any CDI box. I'll just go one. I have it. I didn't see any CDI box. Anywhere on the car. All right, these I can do them black or I can do them that color. And let's make sure that's the right color. Yeah, let's just do that. I think that'll look. That'll look good. All right, finished up getting all those painted. Let's see what it look. Let's go look like. Let me re, re <laughs> Golly day. Let me rephrase. Let's see what it's gonna look like. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it's gonna look alright. Especially in the car where you got all that red around it. That'll look that'll look just fine. I didn't paint that at all. Is there not wires that's gonna go over there to those? That's green too. I really like the green for some reason. I don't know why. I like these uh, roller rockers. All right, let's get these on.
That's going to look good, I think, in the car. And I like that the, I'm just going to call this burgundy, that this burgundy uh, separates the chrome a little bit. So, I like that. Let's get it in the car. Oh, it's down in there. Why do not that engine so far down in there for? Good grief. Remember that all that stuff uh, going through the oil pan and stuff? They could have just pulled the engine up in the car. So. I don't know. Man, you could put a big old supercharger in there. I, I don't know what this thing's supposed to have as far as horsepower. 607. Oh, you could put all these different motors in there. I could have put a supercharger in there. Six pack. I do like the way that looks there, so cool deal. All right, let's put some fluids in. There ain't many fluids to put in. That looks like nasty crap going in there. No fan for the radiator. It's a drag car. I heard, I have no idea how true this is, but I heard that um, the local drag uh, racers around here would put, like in the block, they'd fill half of it up with cement. The bottom half, obviously. And uh, they filled it up with cement. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't put all the spark plugs in. Oh, that's why there ain't no wires. There may not be any wires still, but I still didn't put all the spark plugs in. I just caught that. I just remembered that. No wires. Still. If you're going to have this, they ought to have wires. And it'd be nice to have a little wiring harness, too. Eh, it don't matter. It don't matter. I guess it's all the fluids. Let's get it up. I wish it was uh, uh, jacked up in the back a little bit. That'd be cool. Painted that black. Three bolts. That's all you need for this high-powered. <laughs> that does not look good. I mean, everything else looks fine. That would be the next thing I wouldn't like as much, but that just does not look good. But you can't see it. I ain't going to mess with it. Where's the starter? Wait, look, that's going through the starter. Man, I wonder why they got the engines so far down in the, in the thing for. They matched all that. Maybe that's why they did that, just to make sure all this exhaust stuff matched. Honestly, to be honest with you... Oh, I don't have a dry shaft. I would have, uh, I would have liked for the engine to be in the in the bay, right, and the other stuff not match because that way, um, that way, um, it'd look better when you open up the hood because you can't see this stuff under here and unless you're building it. I mean, you know, worst case scenario. Uh, it looks like there's plenty of, if you raise that up, you could just raise this up with it, unless it goes to a, the floorboard or something. I don't know. It don't matter to me. As long as it runs down the track straight, that's all I care about. I don't like how far it, that's down in there. Now, now I'll tell you what, uh, the supercharger would look cool in there. The blower and everything, there's a plenty of enough room to put that up under there. Uh, let me go look and see what the horsepower difference is on them two motors. All right, a V8 uh, two carb supercharger. So it's a 308 horsepower, and that might be more in that car because it's got 607. I know good West motor, other motor ain't got that 
that kind of uh I have never built a voodoo motor. I've seen voodoo parts. I have never built that. I don't even know what it goes in. Dead Bob. Bob is dead. Oh. <laughs> All right, where's that CM? Should be coming up soon. Cody. CMG. Yeah, see, it's 426 horsepower. So whatever they did... To uh, fit that in there, um, they increased the horsepower. Look, 490. That's cool. The way it, I mean, that looks just fine. It's got a little more horsepower. Oh, there's the. Uh, oh, look at that. That's the uh, supercharged version. 680 horsepower. And there's the supercharged EM1D, 680 horsepower. So got a different transmission. That looks like a four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. I mean, FME. I can't remember an SS. I don't. I have not built an SS. Okay, it's enough looking at this stuff. Let's go finish what we got. All right, is it a hundred percent? Can I put that um, <clears throat> the supercharged? No. So the only thing I can put in there is that, and I can put the supercharger in there. If I oh, there's the FME, single overhead cam FME. That supercharger would look would look cool inside of that. So anyway, I was looking to see if it was 100. percent Nope, body is 95. What is it missing? Car part one. What is a car part one? I don't know. Hudson Hornet car part one. Oh, the dash? I didn't see. I didn't see a place to put it in there. All right, let's take this outside. And see if we can find a place to put it. Let me save the game. In case something screws up. Let's look at it. That looks pretty cool. I really like it. All right. Oh, I see it now. I'm not close enough to make it work. Okay. All right, let's open this side up. See if we can get to it this way. All right, how am I supposed to put it in there? Okay, there I go. Yeah, I just put no radio in it because more than likely it ain't supposed to have a radio anyway. Especially for a drag car. All right. Hundreds all around, I'm sure. Yep, no license plates. Oh, look at that. Man, that is cool. That one ain't far off. One more. Move to there. Yeah, it's pretty sharp looking. So it should have 600, 607 horsepower, just like uh, just like uh, it says there. Them stock tires won't hook up good, so I don't expect it to, to do too well at the drag strip. Of course, it's going to be an A class. Joy. Oh, B class, three ten B class. Ooh, this is going to make a good uh, B a car. I'll look and see what I got. I'm going to use my GT40 in the C class, I think. C or B. Well, that's B. Okay, so... Let's go see what it'll do. 
Oh my gosh. It's dark inside that car. Okay, let's see what she'll do. The red line is about five and a half. Golly, I can't believe it. It hooked so well. Unless it's got another gear. Oh, it does. That's a half mile right there, so we know we can run a half. Oh, there's another gear. That's too high, though, for gear. Wow. Yeah, that's too high. All right, let's see what she'll do. See if we can win some races. It, it doesn't spin too bad off the line. Not as much as I thought it would. Oh, gosh, that car's got it. That car over there's got it. 332. Okay. Let's try it again. Jeep Cherokee should outrun that one. Hopefully. Unless it's built all to pieces. I wish the back end was kind of up more. It, it would, I, I don't know, just a little bit, not a whole lot. I got him. Man, I banged it off the rev limiter. I got him. He's a 315. Chrysler 300. Let's look and see what... Um, Oh, he's a 368. Kylie Day. He's got my milk, I believe. I guess the car runs out okay. I mean, you know, it's not the best thing I've ever had, but runs out pretty good. Look, it's so bright inside. I tell you what, um,. I don't know how well you can see that uh, bar. I'll wait till we get back to the shop, though, but I might repaint that bar or the color of the outside of the car or something, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I figured he had me. Yep, I figured he had me. 97, I'm doing 94. All right, let's just move up and see if I can do anything there. Ford Mustang, Mach 5. I see him pulling me. Well, I mean, it is a 318. I mean, it's not a, you know, oh, he's a 400. He better outrun me. He didn't outrun me by much. What is that over there? I didn't even look to see what I was running against. 
That looks pretty cool, whatever it is. Let's find out if it, if it can outrun me. I see it's close, but he's, he's inching in front of me. Oh, it's a Ford Falcon. I don't believe I've built a Ford Falcon. I'll try a half a mile, but I think I'm just wasting money at this point. A far AF-50. I actually might outrun that, maybe. Golly, what a sweet looking car over there. I love Ferraris. Look at that thing. I'm sure I built a 50. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. Come on. Let me win. Let me win one. Nope. Oh, it's not going to do it. It's close. Not close. 391? Ooh. That was close. Well, there you go. That's my uh, Hudson Hornet uh, drag car build. Let's see what it's worth. 93000 Bought it for twelve five. So I think I was in a hole almost 1000 I think, if I remember correctly. And But now I'm... Um, uh, 80, 81, but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't account for buying all the parts. I don't, I'm pretty sure, but anyway, it don't matter. Well, my thoughts on it, I, I, I got some negatives. I don't like the engine being way down in the bottom like that, but something like this, especially with the engine being way down there like that, I think the, uh, supercharger uh, version would work better. Why did that do, why is that doing that? See it? skipping yeah i think the um a supercharger a two a carburetor supercharger would look uh better in there in there than, than that does i really don't like the way it looks to be honest with you all right y'all let me know what you think you want me to put the um supercharger version in there let me go look and see if i got one right quick i may actually have one I do not. I do have that one, though. That's not what I'm looking for. No, I don't have one. Let's go through the office. Step in the office. How can I help you, sir? Oh, wait a minute. I'm on the wrong side. How can I help you, sir? Oh. <laughs> I need to get a little dude to stand right here. Golly, man. My frames is all over the place. Okay, but anyway. Um, yeah, let me know if you want... To see the supercharged engine in there. I think I'm going to do it anyway. And also we'll see how much horsepower gain I get off of that. And that will change the rating as well. So I like how they uh, got the battery in here. And they put them jumper cables to it. That is really cool. Does it line up? Yeah, it does. Pretty decent. Lines up pretty decent. Alright, well. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back to see the next one. I hope you're having a good day or night. Peace out.